I'm Chef Sandy with Smoke and Tex, and I'm here today to talk to you about how we're going to make our smoked pork loin with applewood smoke in our Smoke and Tex smoker. All this morning, about six hours ago, I rubbed the pork with a dry rub, and my favorite dry rub mix is equal parts of brown sugar and salt, and then I add whatever sort of strikes my fancy. This morning I used about three tablespoons of salt and three tablespoons of sugar, and then about a teaspoon of paprika, a half a teaspoon of cayenne, and cumin, sage, and black pepper. And you can mix this according to what you like, what you prefer. This has a little bit of spice to it, but not too much. So we'll meet you out at the smoker. Okay, I've got my smoker all set up. I've got two ounces of wood in the, in the wood box. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my pork loin in. I have two temperature probes. I have one hanging, not touching anything, which is going to get the ambient temperature. And then I have the other temperature probe stuck into the bigger of the two pork loins. I'm going to set my temperature to 225 and cook the pork till it's about 155, which is plenty safe and it'll give me a little bit of room so that I can brown the top and make it nice and appealing for the table and not overcook my pork. We pulled the the pork loins out of the smoker at about two and a half hours. I wanted to give them a little bit of time in the oven at a higher temperature in order to brown them and to capture the juices. I'm going to use the juices from the pork in a mushroom gravy that I'm making here. Um, when I pulled the pork out of the oven it was 154. Right now it's 165 after about 10 minutes on the counter so be sure and pull your pork at about 155 whether you're Finishing it in the smoker or finishing it in the oven, the temperature will rise as it sits and you don't want to overcook pork. 